All right, so let's talk about verses real quick before we wrap the show up. Uh, we got Raekwon versus Ghostface coming up. Um, I think it's this Saturday, right? It's either I Saturday or Sunday. Sunday. Is 20, it Sunday? Okay. 21st. Yeah. Well, it's this weekend, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, how they're going to do it. Like, are they just going to play the same song for each other, or are they going to play a different song? Like, if you play Ice Cream, I'm going to play such and such. You know, I'm going to play this because I don't want to just play the song that we were both on. You know, are they going to do it that way? Or what? So I'm, I'm kind of wondering about that, too. You know what I mean? How are they going to do it? Is it going to be like you play your verse from this song, but I play my verse from another song? Or are we just playing that song and say, here's my verse, here's your verse? Yeah. I I don't know who put that together. I think, yeah. it, like again, like we were talking, um, I think it would have been better if it was a duo. Like it was Ray and Mel versus Red and, I mean, excuse me, Ray and Ghost. Ghost. Versus Red, Red and Meth. Yeah. Or to me, that would have been so that that would have been that would have been that would have been smart. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. I think versus themselves because a lot of them, and I'm not saying it would be bad, but it's just that they both share a lot of the body right. of work. Right. It's going to be kind of you know, but we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's still two of your favorite hip hop artists, so you know, I'm here for it just because of who they are. You mm-hmm. know, but I'm I'm curious to know how they're going to do that. Um. So I will definitely be watching, you know what I mean? So So you know. sp- and speaking of verses, KRS one yes. has made a decree. Yeah. Not an announcement. No, nah, we can't we can't do that. This is this is the king, you know what I'm saying? One of the kings, you know what I'm saying? So he made a decree. Damn, anybody can get it. Anybody. anybody. Mother anybody. Anybody can get it. He he challenged, he shut up uh Nas and Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Like one as, as one. I yeah, yeah. I haven't really yeah, read. He, he the was whole... saying uh, people who he thought was suitable for him, and he did say Kane or Nas. So that was dope. I thought that was dope. Um, I think uh, if it had to come down to it, if it had to come down to him and Kane, I would have preferred to see more of a real battle, like a actual freestyles and stuff like that. But when when you go catalog for catalog, I think KRS. Uh, might might have a slight edge on Kane because he put more consistent music out. Kane did a few albums and then just kind of stopped out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so, I but one thing about Kane that I will put over KRS is I think Kane was a, definitely a more versatile than mm-hmm. KRS one because that's that's the thing that Cool definitely. J that's the thing that Cool J had a problem with him about like when they approached him with the verses because he was saying like. Yeah, man, y'all should do him and KRS, which would have been great because I think out of all, out of you know they both have a very extensive catalog. They both have that, but the thing of it is, yeah, when it comes down to certain elements, like KRS don't really have a, a whole lot of uh, different versatile songs. Right now, friend. You know, on that I got next, like the friend album, uh I mean the friend song. Yeah. It's probably like that side. Mm-hmm. But as far as um as far as anything else, he don't really have a whole lot of that. A lot of the stuff and I'm not saying that I don't appreciate it. It's just like everything is right. like, you know, boom bap, spit, right. spit, you know right. what I'm saying? Like Cool J has like the love song. Like yeah. Kane got the love song right. for the ladies. But then he got the hard stuff. Like he's got like a real like a mix, right? You know what I'm saying? Like a you know, yeah. Kara, that's the only thing. You know, with Kane, he don't really have a whole lot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kane and and, and LL would be a good matchup. Um, that would actually be a really good. See, that's matchup. another thing. Cool, cool J was like, that's my favorite rapper. I can't really, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. can't battle my favorite rapper. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but we shall see, man. I mean, I would love to, uh, you know, see a, a good versus with KRS one, no matter who it is. I think him and LL would be a good one. Um, him and Nas could go go at it. See, the only thing, and the, see, that's the only thing about the Nas one. Nas ain't really much of a battle rapper. Mm. Now he's he's witty, he's sharp. He did his thing against Jay Z, you know, back in two thousand one. Um, but I I don't I don't see him 
taking on the Blastmaster when yeah. it comes to actual battle. Yeah. Now, again, Nas is versatile. He's kind of like, he's kind of got what Kane's got. He's got, he's got some of the look. He got some of the highs and lows. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing with that. I, but I think in, in the battle sense, yeah, Nas would really have some work or like with KRS. Right. I think Kane and KRS would probably be very, very interesting because that, because they're about, they're about like this, like when it comes to like the level yeah. of what they both have. Yeah. That would be very interesting. But again, like I said, the versatility. Um, Nas, again, like I said, I think he could do it. It would be a good match, but I think KRS would overpower him. Yeah. I really think. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. You know, KRS is more of a battle person. I think Nas is kind of like Rakim. I think that they can battle, but they're not like street battles. No, the way, no, like often, no. Often, outside of the music, right here on the street, let's go. You know what I mean? I think they could do a little something, but they wouldn't last they wouldn't have a long, well, long term endurance. See, I think they they would both be time, right? To get together, right, to get, to get, to to get, get, to get right together there. and be, you know, what I'm saying, like they might, for instance, let's say, let's say Nas was battling KRS, and like, not, and KRS came out first, said, you know, da 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 da, you this da 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 da. If Nas is like, okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you do what you do. Then I'm gonna go in the studio. Then I'm coming back. That's Nas's method, and I think and, you know, and it's effective for him. Right. It's effective for him because he can he can sit down analyze. He'll probably sit down and analyze. Okay, what you say about me? You said this. You said that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me zero in on this, right. and then let me make a fool out of you like right. with this. So then that's I mean that I think that would be his method. Now as far as you know. Like I said, it's just it's just the weight. But now, I think the problem he will run into with KRS is that KRS could he ain't like Jay Z in a sense. Like KRS would probably come back, right? With you know, what I'm saying he ain't gonna do no super ugly shit, right? He gonna come out with some like, yeah, I, I got you know, what I'm saying I'm waiting for you to do right. to come back because I got this, right? I you know, got some, I already I, got I'm it. Already I already this. got it. Yeah, so. Like with Jay Z <clears throat> stuff, not saying that he did, you know, it just super ugly was just like the worst because he just didn't, you know. And then with even with that, like when Nas came back, you know, when he came out with Super Ugly, Nas came back, he didn't even have to rap. He's like, right. man, you disrespectful to women and stuff. Right. Then it, it kind of flipped, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yep. So I mean, yep. that that's the that's the thing with that. Like, yeah, Jay didn't really. You know, as far as that battle prepared yeah. as well, you know. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's I think things. that that you know, I, I'm 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 here for the verses, but um, I wonder. I was just thinking about something while you were talking. So, what do you think about a Nas versus Rakim uh, uh, versus? That would be tough, man. Because I mean. But I only say that because they're both similar. You know what I mean? They're both lyrical geniuses. They may not be street battle rappers, but they're both lyrical geniuses. And, you know, I think Nas really took his style after Rockin'. You know what Ooh, I mean? I, yeah. think, I think Nas took it to the mental. More so, I'm going to outsmart you on the mic. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Yeah, Nas got Rockin' and, and a lot of um, and a lot of cool G in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Man, that would, actually that that's actually tougher than a lot of people think it is. Yeah. Um yeah. I mean one and one and one one is you would be like, Oh, Rakim's the God, you know what I'm saying? Mm, like he right. you know, but But Nas is the God Nas got, too, man. Yeah, Nas got some Nas got some shit. Yeah, man. And um <clears throat> I don't know, man, but ah yeah, if if Rakim one thing I could say about Rakim, if he comes out if they were the battle, mm -hmm. and he comes out with some shit like some Punisher, like the Punisher type shit, yeah, it's a wrap. Oh yeah, I would say it's a wrap. Oh yeah, because God, that that that, like I said, man, if you check out the uh, lyrical breakdown, that yeah, that's man. a that's a, yeah. that's a, that's a shashi, My man like the man the with the blue, yeah, yeah, it's like oh, yeah. oh, he didn't get me, <laughs> yeah, <I> damn. <laughs> 
Oh, so yeah, you should just yeah, yeah, step yeah. Right oh. this <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get me, nigga. Yeah, you didn't oh, get me. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that. that that's go. that. And it's just mm, the punisher, yeah. man. That was uh, one of the hardest tracks he ever did. Man. Yeah. So I don't know, man. You might be right about that one. Yeah. Though. If he that, come out, hard, if man. he come like spitting like that, yeah, it's it's yeah. rough. I think, um, you know, I still would love to see Rock, Kim, and Kane go together. Um, but I could see Nas trying to go up against him just on, on, you know, just to yeah. just bring the culture together. Bring you know what I mean? Together. So that for that reason, you know what I mean? So, but you know, it is what it is. Let's ask, let's ask this since we're talking about this. Who should Jay Z battle? Or who, who should battle Jay Z? I think that if it were me, and Jay Z agreed to a battle. To me, there's only a couple of people that can really do it, and I would have to say either LL, yeah, or DMX because um, DMX. I think that him going up against Snoop was dope, but it would just because he's more lyrical than Snoop. It would have been dope to see him go up against somebody like Jay Z, who they actually have a history yeah. of battling each other. Him and Jay Z actually battled each other on the streets back in the day before DMX and uh, Jay blew up. So Jay Jay comes from street rapping, you know what I mean? I give him that. So I think that would have been nice, um, cause you know DMX would have really brought out the hard shit, you know, cause he always wanted it with Hov. Cause when Nas and Jay the Kiss was going through their thing with Beanie and Hov, DMX was throwing shots at Hov too at that time. Dang you! On the same song he did with Jay the Kiss, that uh huh, here we go again with Jay the Kiss um diss Beanie, DMX was dissing Hov on that song. But, you know, Hov didn't really take the bait because he knew I want Nas, you know what I mean? So this is what I'm going to focus on. So, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I would love to see any good verses like that, man. But who do you think would go up against Jay-Z? Yeah, like, I would say Cool J. I, I would like to see a KRS go up against him. That would be very interesting. Mm-hmm. That really would be interesting. Again, like I said, I think Jay-Z is the... Just like everybody else, he's a little bit more versatile than right. the KRS. Like, because he was just, you know, KRS is going to be straight down. Right. But, um, yeah, man, like, I, I would, and what I mean, what I mean by that, I, let me, let me clarify. We're, we're talking about like a versus scenario. We don't necessarily actually mean like, Actual like real MC like toe to toe like right. you have to we just you know our catalog yeah catalog. we're talking about like catalog and you know things like that so I don't want you to be like yeah you know KRS he he would do this you know this right. you know but now nah, I mean as far as like the catalog goes mm-hmm. I think it it would be interesting um but I feel but I feel that like Jay would like I said he's got he's a little bit more versatile yeah so. Yeah. Especially, like, man, you get that shit to Kanye. Right, know? right. Man, listen. I'm not, like I said, I'm not even that much of a fan of Jay-Z, but that yeah. shit, yeah. Who could be, who could go up against Kanye? I mean, because Kanye got a pretty dope catalog. Yeah. I mean, you know, outside of the Christian raps that he's been doing lately, I mean, you know, do your thing, you know what I mean? But when he was just really spitting, spitting, I don't know who who could go up against him, man. It'd I mean, be interesting just to pay, you know, just to pay homage it, him and Pete Rock. To be mm, honest with you, because mm. you know Pete Rock was pretty much our Kanye West back in the nineties. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it would be. I, I I would still give it to Kanye. Yeah, I love Pete Rock. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah, it it would be it'd be interesting to see them battle. I can't really think of anybody else either, man. It's just like. Kanye, he's 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 not really that in much of in a category. You know what I mean? You can't really put him that much in a category where you can think, oh yeah, this person will be perfect. He's uh see, he's all over the place. So Kanye mm-hmm. is dope, man. I, I hope he goes back to doing some street rhymes and stuff like that. Especially now that him yeah. and uh yeah, old girl yeah, broke yeah, up. Bro, oh yeah, he gonna he yeah. gonna he gonna say some hurt shit. Right. <laughs> he gonna go back to talking some shit. So we shall see on that. Um but um one thing I wanted to mention about the Grammys real quick before we uh, wrap it up. they did, You know how they do tributes to who people who died and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. They showed MF Doom on there. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. A lot of people actually got a little mad because it said MF in capital letters and then Doom only had to decapitalize. So they're like, you know, you're supposed to put his name in all caps. Oh, okay. So a oh. lot of people were kind of mad. I mean... 
Come on. I mean, I don't. I ain't going to get mad at him over that. You know what I mean? Now you just pick yeah. it. I get it. But, but, I, it's, I don't, you know. but yeah, you know, the thing of it is, though, it's kind of like the whole Master P thing with, like, Prodigy died. It's yeah. like, y'all out there ripping him on BET. It's like a week ago, he couldn't even come in here. Right. You know what I'm That's saying? true. And it's kind of like that same thing with, right. like, MF Doom and stuff. It's like everybody's like... Oh, we were such a fan. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, now y'all dick riders, y'all just fucking riding dick. All of a this sudden. This motherfucker's dead, and y'all are riding dick. Like, oh, oh I'm a fan of yeah. Yeah. Dude, Or like, right. even, even like fucking Nip- Nipsey Hussle, man. Right, like, right. Oh, I was a fan, dude. You know what I'm saying? Now, like, like, I literally, you know what I'm saying? Like, one, one dude that I actually know, he can attest to this. He was actually a Nipsey Hussle fan. And when I talked to him, I was like, man, he probably wanted them Nips. I didn't know who Nipsey was. Like, he wanted them mumble rapping. This is back when I had like, um, XM radio. And I actually heard a song of his and I came back and saw him the next day and said, hey, man, that Nipsey, Nipsey, all right. Yeah. And, you know, we, and, you know, I didn't really get to listen to too much. Yeah. Out the Nipsey, but the, I understood what they were doing. Like, they were trying to build up the West. Right. They were trying to, you know, right. him, yeah. uh, YG, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it was the other guy, Problem. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, you know, he was, they were trying to get that together and make the West strong again. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, right. that, that was a, that was a cool movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it just messed up that it's kind of, you know, it's kind of lost. Like, you know, it didn't come to fruition. I'm not gonna say it didn't come to fruition, mm-hmm. but it's just like the death overshadowed right. all of that. Everything that they were working for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, and you know, they talk a lot about you know, Nipsey and the um hip hop uncovered series. Y'all should go check that out I need too. To check that out. Yeah, sure. it's really good series, man. Um but yeah, I mean I agree with you. You know, I mean I I, I knew about Nipsey Hustle from back in the day when he first got started because I first saw him on a BET Cypher. Back in like the early two thousands, and I remember thinking, okay, okay, he's decent, but I, he didn't stand out as much to me. So I was just like, all right, cool. But he's from the West Coast, so he rapping, and I can tell he's trying to um, rep the West Coast pretty hard. So that's what's up. Mm-hmm. And um, so I never really kept up with his music per se, but I do like a lot of the music that he did. When I go back to listen to it, it's like, okay, okay, I like what he was doing. And so you know. I, I'm not gonna say I was a big fan, but yeah. I, you know what I mean. I knew of him. You know what I mean. Yeah, I knew, I knew he was decent. He just didn't stand out as much to me to to really keep wanting to keep up with him. Yeah, but you know, I think he got better as he got older. He was one of them that really grew into uh, hip hop. You know what I mean. So, gotta give him a lot of credit for that. And you know just I mean? like just like with MF Doom, it was just like you know, I didn't know. Till you know, a couple of years ago, like, oh, that was that was Ed Love X from you know, from the KMD Peach Fuzz, yeah. the whole thing, the you know, the gas face joint, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, oh, okay, so he did this, you know, and then I listened to his catalog, and you know, for him to do shit with like Sade, yeah, that was, yeah, man, that's phenomenal, yeah, yeah. Like, he should have got a Grammy alone for that shit, yeah. <laughs> Fucking side A, like, no, who would have known? Yeah, a lot of people wanted to rap with him, man. I mean, he he did the whole uh, Zarface album, Zarface meets Metal Face or whatever. Yeah. That was dope. I mean, all of his stuff, man, was just dope. I always uh, talked about MF Doom way before he passed. You know, he was one I always kept up with. Yeah. I was man, definitely. I mean, I didn't keep up, keep up, but I was like, okay, Doom Doom got something. All right, I'll check it out. But yeah. But I mean, and that, and that's the thing, man. But now that he, you know, he's doing like everybody's like, like you said with the Grammys, like oh, right. I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride this dick, right? I'm gonna ride this dick. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that? it is what it is, man. You know, but rest in peace to MF Doom. I mean, you know, it's not gonna really be anybody else who can really do anything like close to his style. Oh no, nah, man. You know, there's certain people like him and ODB, you can never No, you can't imitate that. You know what I mean? You just cannot get another one of those, man. So mm. it's like, man, I'm I'm uh, hip hop hurts, you know, when it loses people like that, but we still got a lot of dope artists, so Yeah, we do. You know, we'll we see do. uh how how everything goes. But um, but yeah, y'all let us know in the comments how y'all feel about everything we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Uh don't forget like Share, subscribe. Yep, yep. Like, share, subscribe. Yep, yep. Like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. We Brothers. have 
money for the school. <laughs> we have allocated the funds we have allocated. to the school. We have got to give money to the school. To the, no, we don't need no help. We don't need. We're going to do it the way we want to do it, you brothers know, and sisters. Speaking of which. And don't be donating that little bit of money. Give me the big <laughs> change. You go over there to Quaker Oats and give them all your money to buy that dry-ass oat, oat bill. You go to Quaker Oats to buy them dry-ass grits. I need you to give me the money to make a school for your children. Again, I need you to give me the money to make a school for the children. <laughs> Oh, I know they like y'all get y'all get crazy yeah. with this. We gonna leave Umar alone. Yeah, nah, shout out to Umar though. Yeah, like yeah. I said, we, 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 we it's, all in, it's all in just Doctor Umar. Yeah, yeah Doctor Umar. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yes, gotta sir. respect Dr. that. Dr. But you were about to say something a minute ago. There was actually, um, and I heard this from the other podcast. Well, Urban X. I'm gonna shout out them because actually I got this hat from them too. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I got this. That's yes, they up. had a little sale. I like that. Yeah, it's a. It's woke, but I take naps. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like to take naps. This guy too. Yeah, so um, but I think they had a the story of this guy that was twenty one years old, black black guy. He actually a uh, black gentleman, he actually got a school up. Okay, okay. Yeah, he got a school up and and doing things and, and everything for like you know, black kids, black, you know. Yeah. I, I forgot his name. I don't want to take any shine away from yeah. the Urban X podcast and stuff. Be like, you know, but I just want to make a mention of it. Like, hey, man, it's really cool that, you know, people that young are doing stuff. And, I mean, we are. We young, black people, young black people are actually, you know, not all of them are, you know, degenerates and things like that. They are actually doing something. You yeah, know? and it's just, it's just, you know, what I'm saying, it's just sad that uh, we're all focused on this negative shit. Yeah, that's true. But we, you know, they doing things, and like I think, you know, things might be turning around. Yeah, for the for the better for us. Yeah, I agree with that, man. We still got a long way to go, but oh, yeah. I definitely <laughs> see some uh, things turning around. So, you know, we got some ways to go. So we're still climbing the hill, but. Uh, but yeah, man. So you know, I guess we won't have to really keep y'all too much longer. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got through all of our topics. Thank yeah. y'all for hanging in there yeah, with thank us. You, thank um, you. you know, and this has been episode one eighty five. It'll be up on YouTube a little bit later this evening. Nigga, one fifty eight. <laughs> what did I say? You said one eighty five. Oh God. shit! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Up? Thank you for that. That's all. Right. What did I say? One eighty five. My bad. One fifty eight. One fifty eight. You know what I mean? My bad. My bad. Two mind. away from one sixty. I saw it in my mind, but my mind said it back. Dang. So. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking, but yeah, well, y'all know what I meant. You know what I meant. One fifty-eight. <laughs> but we'll be at one eighty-five before you know it. Yeah. Uh, look out for another lyrical breakdown this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got some more content coming, and like I said, we're going to be trying to work on an interview. If not next week, maybe the weekend after that. So we shall see. But y'all, thank y'all for checking us out. This is your man Kurt Dog, and this is Howie. And we will see y'all on the next episode, all right? Peace. Peace.